All right, so it's been only hardly 10 days that the Chinese company DeepSeek unveiled their reasoning model R1. And today, a couple of hours ago, another Chinese company, Alibaba, has introduced a new large scale MOE model called Quent 2.5 Max. And is it going to be the next big thing? I mean, China is full on launching new LLMs and advanced reasoning models. And yeah, today in this video, we're going to talk about Quent 2.5 Max model. And I think China needs to chill down a little bit or slow down a bit because all the companies in the US are unable to catch up with the Chinese companies and it is truly magnificent to see the kind of results these Chinese companies like DeepSeek was able to achieve with only 200 employees and less than 6 million dollar in budget. So in this video let's talk about the Alibaba's new Quent 2.5 Max model, its benchmark results and also I'll show you how you can access and use the same from their platform and also API access. Now without much further ado, let's jump straight in. Alright, so this writer is the official blog post and it says Quent 2.5 Max exploring the intelligence of large scale MOE model. So Quent 2.5 Max is actually a MOE model. And as you can see, it says Quent 2.5 Max, a large scale MOE model that has been pre-trained on over 20 trillion tokens and further post-trained with SFT that is supervised fine tuning and RLHF that is reinforcement learning from human feedback. So basically Quent 2.5 Max is a large scale MOE model and it only says large scale. We are not sure about how much parameters that they used or what is the size of the Quent 2.5 Max model. And also do keep in mind that Quent 2.5 Max is not open source as compared to previous you know, models that was uh, launched by Chinese companies like DeepSeek. So that's also one thing that you have to keep in mind. And they haven't explicitly told or mentioned anything as such, whether the model will become open source in the future or anything as such. And again, starting today, you can go ahead and start using Quen 2.5 Max via their chat interface that is Quen Chat. Or you can also use the Quen 2.5 Max API through Alibaba Cloud as well. So if you want to use the API, you can head over to this Alibaba Cloud, create a new account, sign up for the platform, and you can follow the guide in here and start using the API. And now how does it compare? So how well is Quen 2.5 Max when compared with other models like the DeepSeek V3 and for starters uh, this Quen 2.5 Max model is not a reasoning model like DeepSeek R1 it's just like a regular model like let's say DeepSeek V3 or Cloud 3.5 and so on it and in this blog post itself the team has shared a couple of benchmark results like Arena had MMLU Pro, GPQ a Diamond, Live Code Bench and Live Bench Test. So they compared this model that is the Quent 2.5 Max model with DeepSeek V3, Llama 3.1 that is the 405 that is 405 billion uh, parameters model. Then we have GPT 4.0 and also Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as well. All right. And as you could probably already tell from the chart, Quent 2.5 Max literally tops the chart when it comes to all these benchmark tests that is shown in here. And again, they also compared the base models of these uh, Quent 2.5 Max with other open source models, including the Quent 2.572 billion parameters, DeepSeek V3 and Llama 3.1405B. And as you can see, the benchmark results are great and it single-handedly outperformed all these open source models when compared with the base model. All right. And again, if you want to try out Quent 2.5 Max model, you can head over to the chat interface and start using it to generate images or use the LLM. And if you want to use the API, you can head over to the Alibaba Cloud API platform and start using it from there. And now this right here is the Quen chat interface. And the first thing that you gotta do is to go to chat.quenlm.ai and sign up for a new account. And up to the top, you will find an option to select the model. So all you gotta do is to put it as Quen 2.5 Max, the most powerful language model in the Quen series. All right, so I've set it up and you can go ahead and start asking any question ask it to generate images and do it will do all that kind of stuff and it also has got this feature called artifacts similar to the one that we saw in cloud where you can go ahead and you know ask any questions and the AI will render the output in a separate tab for example if you want to let's say preview a html the or svg or anything as such the artifacts option in quen chat will let you do so so now just as to test this model i'll go ahead and ask a simple question let's say create a landing page for my web development agency named Astro Tech. All right, so this is the prompt that I'll give and to view the actual preview of the code that it generates, I'll also enable this option that says artifacts and I can go ahead and click on the send button. And now Quen 2.5 Max will go ahead and start writing the code. And as you can see, it is uh, creating the page in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I believe. So you can find the code to the left side. And once the coding process is done, you'll be able to find a live preview in the artifacts section to the right. So let's wait for it to complete coding the same. All right, so this is what the AI has generated and it is a simple landing page created in HTML and CSS, nothing fancy in here. And now let's just say I want to add a hover animation to all of these cards under the our services section. So I'll go ahead and say add a hover animation on the cards under the 
our services section and let's see if it is able to add the animation so let's wait all right so it has updated the code and hopefully we have that okay so we have this nice lifting kind of animation effect when i hover over this card and as you can see this is what the ai has managed to create and i also noticed it says 2023 the year i'm not sure why and again you can also go ahead and upload images and upload photos as well but if i open a new chat you'll be able to find an option that says image generation and beauty generation so if i click on this image generation option and let's say a uh, image of a bird flying in the times square in new york and hit enter so coin 2.5 max model is able to generate images as well as what i guess so let me go ahead and give this prompt and wait for it to uh, create the image as i can see it is reasonably fast and let's just wait for it to complete the image all right so we have this image right here and this is what it has generated and to be honest this is actually a nice image great i mean for a free version for a free ai tool that you could literally use right away it's a great image to be honest and if you notice we also have this video generation model right here but for some reason i'm unable to generate any videos using the model yet for example let's say a video of a cat it is giving me some kind of error so it's i see it seems like it's a bug or something so let's wait oh actually it is working right now okay a couple of hours ago, I actually tried using this video generation model in Quen 2.5 Max and it literally failed and it was throwing some kind of errors. But now it is working and let's just wait for the results to load. So this is the video that the AI has generated and it looks reasonably good for a free AI model like Quen 2.5 Max. So that's from my side as far as the video is concerned. So that's pretty much all about the Quen 2.5 Max model. And if you want to access the same, just head over to the first link in the description below, sign up for a new account and you can start using Alibaba or China's new AI model that is Quen 2.5 Max. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.